I think for most it's a, a jaw-dropping moment. All of these national treasures all sat under one roof. This is living history. You don't get that anywhere else. You smell the fuel, you see the lads working on the aircraft. It just takes your breath away to be part of history. We're here at the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight at RAF Coningsby. I'd say it's probably one of the most treasured hangars in the Royal Air Force. What's special about it is we have some amazing aircraft here. It's a fully working hangar for an operational flight of the Royal Air Force. Um, so you see engineers working here, you'll hear the sounds of them working. And the wonderful thing about this is that these aeroplanes are still alive, they still fly. They're unique little pieces of, uh, of history now in their own right. You know, they are uh, amazing pieces of uh, engineering. But it isn't just about the machine, it is about what they represent. And it's, it's commemorating the sacrifice of those in the Second World War. Keeping it alive and making people remember what they did for us. Because of course it came at an incredible sacrifice and it's only right that we do remember. These are important stories that need to be told. Coming here and hearing the stories and learning about what people went through, it just keeps it alive to be part of it and give that history down to the next generations. So privileged to be part of this team. But everybody will tell you once you get in that door, everybody pauses. Wow. 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 A spitfire. Just wow is the most common word. Come on in here. Now this particular spitfire was built in 1941, so it's 81 years old which is, you know, it's amazing that it's still here. And somehow, I don't know how, it managed to survive all of that. You can look at the planes and see them for what they are, but when you hear the stories behind them, it was just brilliant. Instead of just learning about the actual planes and what they do, you can hear stories about people that have flown them. Keeping these 80 plus year old aircraft flying is, is incredible and, and in telling the stories that they represent. I'm enormously proud of the Battle of Britain Memorial flight and what we're able to do. The aspiration is absolutely that BBMF goes on forever to ensure that future generations will also be able to enjoy these aircraft. You can go to many, many museums and see a Spitfire or a Lancaster or a Dakota, but you can't do it seeing them flying and that's what it's all about and we're here to show them to as many people as possible, uh, whether that's in the air or whether it's the some 30,000 uh, members of the public that come and see the aircraft as they are now in the, uh, in the hangar. So why not come and smell the smells, hear the sounds of the engineers working, come and see them, learn about them.